gets sucked down will flip, right? Everybody on the left side falls down to the right side. Forward one, and then we fall out. You can see there's people on both sides there to save you if this were to happen. Forward one, forward one. So early games like this, what's kind of like your mindset going into the game? Obviously, it's not late in the afternoon or it's not at night, so right. you got to wake up fast and basically be ready to roll. On these kind of games, Coach Ron just says whoever comes out with the most energy wins, and I've seen that in our team, and I think we can do it. We found it on a fence, and we won three games in a row, and it was hanging on the fence, so I took it. The GOAT! GOAT! We are the GOATs. Go Glove. Go Glove. It's our little mascot. You know Extreme doesn't technically have a mascot, so... It's the GOAT. Ball. Extreme Elite GOATs? Yeah, goats. Styles, one, two, three. Yay! Uh, Bust it open on three, one, two, three. Bust it I think there were a couple times, but overall, defense was behind the pitcher. I felt like uh, there were like a lot of plays that people were going all out for. I thought our pitch sequencing today was really good. A couple small things I talked to you guys about improving. I thought our pitchers did pretty well. One thing with the pitchers, especially out here, your spins will spin a little bit harder if we're not pushing. So a little bit of what I saw with the pitchers was pushing a little too much instead of actually snapping and spinning. That thing will bite a little bit out here, okay? So just kind of know if we can if we can snap a little harder instead of pushing, that thing will have a little more bite to it. It was good that we found a way to win. I just think on defense a little bit, we were almost too relaxed. Like there were some plays where we didn't find a way to take care of the ball and like really make sure that we had that. I would just say like going back to like striking out looking on changeups, like you guys need to stop guessing. Like don't, like assume you're gonna swing, yes but react. 
you guys are like, oh crap, like that's not what I thought it was. But you still have to swing, like you have to live, you have to foul it off into the other dugout to get that fastball or to sit on the changeup. Anybody's lungs burning? Feeling it? It's okay, it's all right. That's why, that's why we come out like we did last night and kind of go through that really fast pace to get you guys used to it. It takes a day or two. Tomorrow you'll feel even a little bit better, okay? Um, but good start. But let's use this as the bottom. Keep kind of building upward from this weekend. Good to come out and get the dub, though. Good, good to find a way there. Um, all right, spotlight. Uh, We're going to start with nice start. Abby. Yes. Thank you for always putting adorable captions on my Instagram pictures. <laughs> um, I think it's awesome that you were on the Hump and Humphreys, and I wish I could have seen it. <laughs> I think you like have a very just positive, um, I don't know what word it is, like personality? Kind of, like a vibe basically, but like all the time, you're just very positive. Aura. Aura. Yes, oh, yeah. that's the word. You always have a smile on your face and you're always just like cracking jokes with everybody. You are always fun. I've never seen you negative. Like, you know how to make a joke <laughs> and how to lighten the mood. You're so sweet. I'm glad we got closer this year. You're always open and honest with people. You're always so happy and it makes me happy. You're really outgoing. Good job, ladies. <laughs> okay, let's get you guys out of here um, so we can go have a little bit of fun. Woo! Go do, do a little rafting. As soon as we everybody gets there, they'll get us kind of checked in. You go, you go pay and all that, and then they'll kind of take us out and give you guys all the instructions, scare you a little bit. Let's bring it in. Oh, what are we? Extreme Pride on three. One, two, three. Extreme Pride.
Second year we've been able to get all of our teams that are out here together and uh, actually spend a little bit of time together as a family, which we don't always get to do during the year when we're training and playing games and other things. But this is the one spot that the Extreme Elite family can get together. The reason we do it is just to have a night together, have some fun. The athletes get to interact with all the other teams. It's just a lot of fun. People, uh, I think, people really enjoy this event, and uh, you know, we, keep, we want to continue it as an annual thing. And you know, tonight was another great night, a great example of uh, really what Extreme Pride is, and, and what being a, a softball family truly means to most people.